Tonight we have an update on the street brawl we brought to you last night and as of about noon today, Portland police said no victims had come forward to report an assault. But Fox 12's Brenna Kelly spoke with two people who were documenting the event and say they ended up getting caught up in the brawl. She joins us now with their story, Brenna. Well, Liz, the fight began last night outside Cider Riot in Northeast Portland, where according to an event created on Facebook, Antifa planned to gather for a May Day after party. But around 730, Patriot Prayer began fighting with Antifa members. Meanwhile, two freelance journalists shooting video were attacked. May Day celebrations had nearly come and gone when an all-out brawl started in the middle of the street. A group of about 30 people look like they're getting ready to march. Uh, some wearing helmets, someone possibly had a baton. One of the first mentions of this fight over police radio came at 731. By 751, they were asking for backup. I have eight free officers. That's not going to be enough. You've got at least 100 Antifa either involved or watching in the venue, and you've got a handful or so of the Patriot Prayer groups that are antagonizing these people. Both groups are kind of looking for violence. Like they, it, they it's like a love hate. It's weird. This is OSU student Noah Bucci. He was shooting video for a documentary when he says he was attacked. A guy comes from my right, hits my camera with a club. Bucci says his camera lens was broken, but it didn't stop there. Bucci says when he decided to find the person that did it. I got punched here on my jaw and I was kind of down. I got punched multiple times. Meanwhile, freelance journalist Andy No was shooting an iPhone video. One person went straight at point blank right in my face. They sprayed first in this direction, then they turned it towards me. So it was just I wasn't expecting it when it happened. No was maced outside of Cider Riot. Just I couldn't see. And um, my only thought from that point on was just I needed to get out of there. And earlier in the day, No says someone sprayed silly string at him. It stuck to his camera equipment. And at another point, he tells us he was punched in the stomach. No says he tried to tell an officer in the moment. And he informed me that uh, they wouldn't do anything right now because that would be a quote unquote escalation. No says he called police after this interview with us around 11 p.m. Wednesday night, and they came to take a report. Yet Portland police issued an update 12 hours later, saying no victims of assault had made reports and asking people who believe they are victims to come forward. I don't know how, uh, how loud I have to scream before someone listens. Now, that last release from Portland police came in just before noon today, and since then, they have acknowledged getting Nobuchi's report, but not Andy Knows, which was filed last night. PPB has also not answered our questions regarding their response time to this fight outside Cider Riot. Reporting live in studio, Brenna Kelly, Fox 12 Oregon.